Right, welcome back to Tony's Top Tips Workshop. I've had a request to um, show the machine cutting. Um, so this is just a short video to show that. Um, and it was the, the program uh, with my name on, um, on the piece of timber that I showed you being cut. So this is the this is candle and this is the same program that I G code that I imported into candle. Now the first steps I'm gonna do is zero the uh, probe, the touch off probe. So I'll take you over to that. Here we are at the machine, and all I have to do now is zero the X and Y, which uh, that's that one. You can see that's been done with the probe. You always remember to zero that, your X and Y. And then all I have to do is go down to the bottom here and send that to the machine. There the machine goes. due to the um, actual cooling shroud that I put on. So I'll move the machine out of the way and then we can look at the finished project. Right here we have the finished project and as you can see close up 
I've, all I've done is vacked it out and there's just a little bit of in the bottom of that groove just a little bit of, as you can see there just a little bit of tear inside not outside look at the edge at the top look at the lettering you know it's it's very good I haven't cleaned it I haven't sanded it all I've done is vacked it and uh, as I say the the actual um, I mean even the spindle is not a, um, a particularly expensive spindle so they are what you get with them the cheap Chinese 500 watt spindle that's supposed to produce 12,000 rpm and it produces 1150 Ele sorry 11,500 so you're 500 short the cutter's a cheap Chinese cutter I didn't realise how cheap if you can see on that it's not that particularly good um, but it's done that as I say 1500 millimeters per minute at 12 8, 11 500 11,500 rpm 60 degree V bit and that's the finish I've done other projects on this but I, somebody had just requested just to see that machining see what it was like so um, that's it so it's only a short video but thanks for watching and as I always say like and subscribe and as I always say be safe be careful out there from Tony's Top Tips Workshop bye for now